Hi kids! Today we will be learning how you can check your answers on your own. So let's get started. Here is an addition problem. Here, 40 and 50 are our add-ins. Solving this, we get the sum. It's 90. Now, how to check whether the answer 90 is correct or not, you have to subtract. Any one of the add-in from the sum, and if you get the other add-in, the sum is correct. Let's see. 90 minus 40 equals 50. Subtracting one of the addend from the sum, we get the other addend. So, it proves our answer is correct. Now, let's take another example. We saw 45 plus 78 is 123. Now, how can we check this answer? We have to subtract any one of the add-in from the sum. And if we get the other add-in, our answer is correct. So, let's subtract 78 from 123. We get 45. And 45 is the other add-in. So this proves that the sum was correct. So we have learned to check the addition problems. We subtract one of the add-in from the sum. And if we get the other add-in, our sum is correct. Now, Let's move on to learn. Checking our subtraction problems. Here is a subtraction problem. First of all, 65 is the minuet, that is, the number from which we subtract. 10 is the subtrahend. That is, the number that is to be subtracted. And 55 is the difference between the minuet and the subtrahend. Now, to check whether the difference is correct, add the subtrahend to the difference. And if you get the minuet, your answer is correct. I repeat, to check whether the difference is correct, add the subtrahend to the difference. And if you get the minuend, your answer is correct. In simple words, add the number you are subtracting to the difference. And if you get the number from which you were subtracting, your answer is correct. Let's take another example. 90 minus 35 is 55. We have to check whether this is correct or not. Add the subtrahend to the difference. We get 90. And 90 is our minuend. So, our answer is correct. Let's take one more example. Here is a subtraction problem done. Let's check it. Add the subtrahend to the difference. We got 76 which is the minuend, so it's correct. So kids, what have we learned? We have learned to check 
The addition problems, we use subtraction. Subtracting one addend from the sum, if we get the other addend, our sum is correct. And to check the subtraction problem, use addition. Adding subtrahend to the difference, if we get the minuend, our answer is correct. So kids, you can now check your own answers. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.